Hello everybody, it's the Last Raider, and man, I got a cringy video for you. This is just straight up dumb Yankee cringe. And I say dumb Yankee as in this is this is really, really stupid northern people. Not all northern people, just the stupid ones trying to figure out try trying to get control of the world to an extent and, and failing miserably at their, their job. Because their job right now, I don't know who this woman is, honestly. Everyone's calling her Beetlejuice. I don't know enough about Chicago politicians to know who this person is, nor do I care. I just care about her looking like a complete idiot. So, here we go. And I'm happy to report, I'm calling out the census cowboy. Yep. That's not a good thing. That means you got to step up and do your part and make sure that you fill out the census. Okay. You listen to what she said. She goes, uh, if you see the census cowboy show up in Chicago, this is Chicago, mind you. Um, my, can I can I mention one other thing before I continue? How appropriate is is it that? The census cowboy who's supposed to go around intimidating everyone in Chicago into filling out the census is wearing a bulletproof plate carrier. Okay? Uh, and not a very big one, my that. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I'm going to be riding through Chicago on horseback, I better have a rifle scabbard on that horse. It better look like something out of Red Dead Revolver or Red Dead Redemption where I got... Two uh, shot, sawed-off shotgun on one hip, a revolver on the other, a lever action in the de in a, the scabbard, um, a bow and arrow on my back, and a freaking bolt action on the other scabbard side, as well as some bulletproofing. Uh, this is just stupid because it's it's authoritarianism to a T. We're taking something beloved like a cowboy because these people fear southern stuff. Okay, they 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 they're they're northern authoritarians, many of them racists, and they fear southern things. I, I I will be the first one to sit here and say this. You know, the Confederate flag is not a racist symbol. It is a symbol that is coveted by racists. They want this symbol because and they wanted it back in the day because they wanted to control the South. They they wanted to control the same area, you know, raise this. That's where the concept, the South will rise again, comes from. It's it's a, a race. It's the racists going in there saying, you know, we're, we're going to raise up the South. You ask most Southerners, they're like, there's no reason to raise the South. We live in the United States. We love the United States down here in the Southern states. We, we love this. We, we like this country because we have freedoms and all this other nonsense. And there's no reason to, you know, like really push forward. We also realize slavery was wrong. Okay? No reason to worry about that. What we don't want is the history of our of the nation of the, the flag that our forefathers fought under being taken from a memorial of them giving their lives in a battle, in a very bloody battle, to remind us of, you know, how we should better ourselves. And that's what most Southerners look at the Confederate flag. That's why they look at the more memorials. It's a, a testament to what happens when people don't better themselves. So there's this constant need in the South, you know, you know, to be better. You know, to be, you know, not, not as in, you know, physically, but as in mentally and how you treat other people. To, you know, to be better to your neighbors and everything. To be better people. People up north don't understand this. And like I said, when they when they look at something like the Confederate flag, they want to make it a racist symbol. The racists also want that to be a racist symbol. The Confederate flag was never officially adopted by... I mean, there are, there are groups that say, oh yeah, this is ours. But then you've also got heritage groups that say, you know, no, we don't want you to have this flag and fought for years until finally the government comes along and says, we're going to declare this a racist symbol. And just hand it over to the clans and let them have the racist symbol that they want. It's like, okay, um, would it not be a good idea to just not give them the symbol in the first place? You know, 
just sit back and say this is a heritage thing. We will not recognize it as a racist symbol. Even if the Klan brings it out there, we'll consider them as being stupid and uneducated hicks for bringing the Confederate flag out there. Now, enough on the Confederate flag. Like I said, that's how we kind of view it here. Uh, Northerners, they look at cowboys. They're like, oh, you know, cowboy is going to come in there and put down justice. No, no, no. Lawman put down justice. All right. As usual, we have the census cowboy to come in there and threaten people into filling out the census. Um, here's a thought to the politicians in Chicago. Maybe your gun control doesn't work. Have you figured that? I mean, you're worried about the census not being filled out. I can tell you why it's probably not being filled out. People are either leaving Chicago to dodge the bullets, and the ones that aren't leaving are actively being killed off. Think about that for a moment. All right. Uh, Chicago is one of the deadliest cities in the country, if not the most, de- and not the deadliest city. I mean, right now they're competing with New York in terms of gun violence. New York, well, mind you, New York, um, Bill de Blasio comes out there and says, well, we're going to use smarter, more police officers and smarter policing tactics. They're now stopped talking about um, defunding the police, which imagine, mind you, New York seeing an uptick in gun crime suddenly decide to defund, suddenly cave and defund the police at that moment. Then you're completely at the mercy of gun control. And if it fails, it fails spectacularly. It's failing spectacularly. Now, to the point, and I mean, the irony is so bright and out there in the open that New York lawmakers are not talking about gun control anymore because they realize it looks bad. The optics looks horrible. If they mention gun control, they're already getting hammered. If they come out there and mention gun control at all, they're getting lambasted publicly. Here, we've got a census problem in Chicago. What do they do? They're sending in an unarmed cowboy with a bulletproof vest and what looks like some sort of tablet inside on one of the uh, carriers or in one of the pouches with a flag to try and intimidate people into going on to the census. Look. You want you're worried about your your census issues. I don't know how this handle how what this does to a. Uh, some people said this actually has an effect on your party, in your area. Uh, I don't understand how that would have any kind of effect. I figure it would help to know what your voter base is, but at this point in time, there's a lot of Democratic voters that are probably going to become independent, and that's why you're also seeing some problems. You're implementing all this stupid shit right here, like this this dumb cowboy nonsense. And instead of sitting around there, you know, solving real problems like the gun violence issue, giving some people back their guns and letting them defend themselves, it worked in St. Louis, mind you, to the point that Kim Gardner is trying to take away those guns because it makes gun because it makes pro gun actions look cool. Um, you're you're instead worrying about putting out this facade, this show of virtue signaling, or even, or as I said, it's kind of more of a threat than anything else. Oh, you know, if you're not up there and you know, the census cowboy shows up, uh, y'all aren't doing your jobs. How is this any different than we're going to send the whipping guy out there to whip you slaves into shape? That's what it seems like to me as a Southerner, as a Southerner. This kind of seems to me like uh, you Yanks are sending out the whipping man to go out there and and whip them slaves into shape. (laughs) It looks bad. I mean, the optics on this are probably really horrible. I can't believe this woman could say this shit with a straight face. I mean, no, 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 no. In my, where I'm from, we would just go, are, are you going to fix the roads? Oh, we're being shot at, by the way. Can we have some guns? We can. We did this in Missouri, actually. Missouri had really strict gun control laws, and then people were like, look, we're dying. Can we have some guns? And people were like, yeah, sure. Here's some guns. Then like four hours later, the assault weapons ban lapsed, and we went from California to Texas in about four hours, and people were like, shit, we may have made a mistake here. <laughs> Everyone got guns at that point. You could buy anything you wanted without a permit. Uh, except for class three firearms, of course. Those are just those are deemed by the government too fun for civilian use. I need a shirt that says that. Has a belt fed in has no, has a Dylan minigun on it. 
going full auto and saying, declared by declared too fun for civilian use by the government. I'd, I'd have to figure out how I would run that. If I did a shirt like that, would you people buy it? I mean, honestly, I, I'm talking to the fans of the channel here. If I did a shirt, would y'all would y'all buy it? Because that would help me out a lot, making a little bit of money off this channel. I don't I don't know when I should do that. I don't know when I should put that stuff out. But anyway, back to this nonsense. I'm I'm not saying I'll do it. I, I'll probably wait till we get more subscribers or something to justify that nonsense a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, you, you send this guy out here on horseback. What's he going to do? I, is he going to wander around? Did y'all put a manure pouch on the back of this thing? Because it does need a manure pouch to catch all the the shit. Oh, it's a Democrat city. They don't really care. They put human feces all over the place. But I mean, I I am I'm really cringed, and it kind of it's kind of funny also watching these idiots do this. Because here here you got a cow. What's a cowboy without a six gun? That's what I've never been able to figure out. I think that's kind of why the WB doesn't put Vigilante out. For those of you who don't know, um, the character that the cartoon character that's actually up on my channel that you see the avatar, uh, that's actually Vigilante from, uh, I believe DC Justice League Unlimited. And Vigilante was a cool character. Vigilante is like a really cool character. He's basically just a cowboy with guns who can fight, uses a rope. He's a lasso, kind of a, kind of what Batman isn't, and a bit of Wonder Woman mixed in with the same, you know, stern pro America beliefs as Superman. So I mean, in in the show, he was amazing. This this here is a a very pathetic, and also another thing, you're gonna put a mask on this guy. Why put a surgical mask on? Why can't you just put a bandana on the dude and commit to the bet? It's hilarious. We come out here and do this uh, pointless virtue signaling and we can't even commit to it. Okay? You put the surgical mask on the cowboy, but at the same time, just put a bandana over his, over the top of a surgical mask. You know, make him look like an actual, you know, cowboy walking in or something. Or put on a mask and make him look like the, the Lone Ranger for fuck's sakes. But then if we did that, we would have to put Tano out there and that would, that would be bad. Cancel culture would come for the mayor. Oh, 2020 is going to be fun. I got thinking about it. I'm trying to remember how many plagues of Egypt hit hit uh, Egypt and see how many disasters we've gone through in 2020. We've had, uh, let's see, I'm getting off on a tangent right now, but I'm, I'm at the end of the video anyway, so I might as well. We've had um, forest fires in Australia, uh, COVID-19, a sandstorm from Africa, murder hornets, Blue dragon sea slugs, yes, that is a thing. They're poisonous. They showed up all on the beaches of Texas at one point. Crazy rare, rare thing that's happened. Uh, let's see. What else was it? We've had five. I'm missing a few of them. I know that. I think we've had like seven biblical plague like Oh, yeah, riots. I forgot about those. How the fuck did I forget the BLM riots? Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> we've had riots. We found, well, it's not really a plague. People say, like, the volcano sharks are crazy, but that's not really a plague. It's not something that's really affected us. Um, I guess that'd be about it. I think there's, like, ten plagues. Ten or twelve, I think. Probably ten. I'm going to say ten. Ten biblical plagues that hit Egypt. So we're, like, four more plagues out, folks, and we will be done with 2020. <laughs> I think the last one's going to be election riots. <laughs> That's going to be one of them. So we we know we can we got to try and survive the election riots. We got three more plagues. We're going to see a mass exodus of frogs or something. Maybe some locusts come. I hope locusts don't show up. That would be really bad for the farming economy. But I don't think so. This has been some weird plagues. It's like God pulled out all the reject shit. That he was going to throw down there to Egypt. And he's like, yeah, I got to pour out some stuff. We'll try some different things, you know. Here's some riots. Blue dragon sea slugs that are poisonous almost to the touch. Ah, dead gum. Ah, it's ridiculous. Anywho, folks, tell me what you think in the comments. About the census cowboy. And, and if you think this is a stupid waste of taxpayer money and time. Uh, I almost be willing to bet 
that they kind of forced someone to hand over a horse or they, they told this guy they, that he could do this for like a hundred bucks or some nonsense. And he was like, I'll do it. But only if I get a, if I have a gun to protect myself with, will you settle for a bulletproof vest, a cheap one? Yeah, I guess I will. So anyway, like I said, leave a comment on what you feel about this. Also remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and, uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notification. All of this helps out the channel very much. Your comments, your likes, so notifying it, hitting the notification bell and subscribing. Your views also help the channel and beef it up. And as always, folks, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.